Now you'll find out how to see a meteor shower, a vibrant comet that can be observed through telescopes, and planetary conjunctions that will ensure that finding Jupiter and other planets is very easy in December 2023. I promise, will be very interesting. December starts with Mercury reaching its greatest eastern elongation, which means that it will be at its highest point above the horizon. This will be the best time to see it. Search for the planet in the southwestern part of the sky during the dusk, very low above the horizon. On December 9th, people worldwide will witness the alignment of the Moon and Venus, which will create a remarkable celestial couple that will illuminate the eastern sky early in the morning. This will present a wonderful opportunity to observe Venus and our Moon, since they are the brightest celestial bodies visible during nighttime. The next astronomical event will bring the peak of the Geminids meteor shower, which is one of the brightest meteor showers visible throughout the year. The peak of the Geminids typically occurs around December 13th and 14th. During the peak under optimal viewing conditions, dark sky away from city lights, observers can often see up to 120 meteors per hour. At the time of the peak, the moon will be located below the horizon, so this year will present the best chance for you to find a way to escape the light pollution and enjoy the Geminids in some dark place. On December 17th, the Moon and Saturn will come together in conjunction, appearing very close to each other in the night sky. This stunning celestial event will be visible in the southwestern part of the sky a few hours after sunset and will only be separated by 2.5 degrees. On December 21st and 22nd, the Ursid's meteor shower will reach its peak and grace the night sky. It will showcase a display of 10 meteors per hour, so if you miss the Geminids, at least you can compensate for your loss with this astronomical event. December 22nd will bring the December solstice to the Northern Hemisphere, which marks the shortest day or longest night of the year. It's the point when the tilt of the Earth's axis is farthest from the Sun, resulting in the Sun's lowest daily maximum elevation in the sky. Also, it's the official start of the astronomical winter. December 22nd will also mark the day when the Moon passes very close to Jupiter. The celestial pair will be visible all night long, rising in the southeast and then ascending above the western part of the sky. Therefore, you should take advantage of this opportunity to observe the largest planet in the solar system and our natural satellite at the same time. On December 25th, 62P Suchinshan passes perihelion, the closest point to the Sun in its orbit. On the same day, it will reach its peak brightness and offer a spectacular viewing opportunity while being visible through medium-sized telescopes. In order to find out the current location of the comet, avoid light-polluted areas and refer to an amazing resource called theskylive.com. Link in the description. After following the link, you'll find an online night sky map with the current location of the comet. The year of 2023 will conclude with the last cold full moon, which is one of the numerous names given to the full moon of December. The moon won't change its appearance in any way, it will be your regular full moon. In addition, December 2023 will mark a great month to observe planets. Except for Mars, which isn't visible at all, other celestial bodies will be shining brightly, or almost brightly, in the sky. December also features very bright deep sky objects, the Crab Nebula perfectly visible in the Northern Hemisphere, and the Orion Nebula visible in the southern part of our planet. Both can be seen through small telescopes in areas with reduced light pollution, and both are great objects for astrophotography. Also, two additional objects can be easily found in the December sky, Messier 35 and Messier 44. Both of the objects rank as beginner-friendly star clusters for visual observations and astrophotography thanks to their prominent brightness. Now you know how to stay busy at night. Get away from city lights to enjoy the beauty of deep sky objects, as light pollution can be a buzzkill. In any case, remember to subscribe to this channel to see more future videos on space and astronomy. And as always, thank you for watching very interesting videos, bye!